So now, Vishnath, I mean, Vishnath comments. He steps out of the Leela, he steps back into his Acharya Sarup as Vishnath. He says this, what is Krishna's face like? Sometimes the earrings or Kundala of Krishna are completely visible. Sometimes partially visible or completely covered by locks of hair. So of course, the words of Shastra and the words describing Leela are all like a key to open a door. If you have a door, and there's a lock. If you have the key and you open the door, there may be an empty room inside or there may be so many amazing things inside but you have to enter inside. So these verses and shlokas describing leelas are like keys. And you have to put it in, and you have to put your, put your meditation in into these phrases. When, because the question would be asked by acharyas and by sensitive sadhakas. The acharya, the rasik jana, is saying that sometimes Krishna's kundala are completely visible. And that when and what circumstance? And one has to recollect and think, oh, in this Leela and that Leela, or partially visible or completely covered by locks of hair. Sometimes the earrings are stationary or slightly moving or completely agitated. In this way, Krishna's kundala, which are mentioned in the verse, earrings, reveal various types of beauty. Tava kundala shri, that's why. He's giving some comment on the Shri. In other words, the verse says, Tava Kundala Shri Gandha Staladhara. So the translation is, Shri, be- your, just says, your beautiful earrings. Shri. So then, what does Shri mean? So then he says, in all these different ways, because Shri means beautiful, but what type, what, and what ways are Krishna's earrings beautiful? In what ways are Krishna's earrings beautiful? 